Okay, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, how are we all feeling? I'm feeling pretty good. Paul George, stay on your ass, bro. Doing your listen, hey, listen. I ain't even, I ain't even, I can't even sit here and act like I started the Paul George slander. That I even joined in on it. I have it. I haven't already joined in on it. I just been sitting back and all like, wait a minute. Paul George does not perform well in a lot of playoff games. That's like I'm just sort of kind of realizing it right now. And I'm not ready to just say that he just automatically does that every like I'm not ready to just, you know what I mean, to call it a pandemic P. <laughs> Nah, but he can't call himself playoff P and then come out here and do that. That, that. That's bottom line. I didn't hear him call himself playoff P, but the word of the street is he called himself that. If he called, if he's really responsible for calling himself that, he can't. He can't call himself out and then come out. He can't. He can't. That just doesn't make sense. Um, wait. Let me. Let me. Let me see if I can find it. Let me. All right. So the All Star deemed himself playoff P prior to Thunder's Game One playoff. victory over the Jazz. You be calling yourself playoff P and lose all the time. Huh? And that's what they hey, brought him there for. You, hey, you don't see me walking around saying, hey, I won the championship, but I didn't win it. They'll, they'll call you championship <laughs> Chuck. They'll call me championship Chuck. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, you can't, call, you can't you can't, call yourself playoff P. You can't. You can't do it. I'm looking to see if you're going to turn it around or what's good. But I ain't going to lie. If you keep this up and you do this all playoffs, I might have to hop on the bandwagon. I'm open. I ain't gonna lie. I'm hoping you do. I ain't gonna lie. I'm hoping you do. Oh, go check out that video on my other channel. Uh, what we do, what we do. Uh, players that got caught cheating. Go check that out. It's fire. It's a dope video. Nice long video. Yeah, I'm hoping you do. I'm hoping you keep this up. I need you to go home. If Paul George chokes, that could be the blessing in disguise. Well, that see, all us Laker fans were waiting on. <laughs> no cap. Like Paul George, I love you. I do. I do. I like you, Paul George. I do. I do. But I ain't gonna lie. I need you to choke. I need you to choke. Just like Melo. Melo, I like you. But I need right now. Right now, though, I need you to. You got to You got to move out of the way. Dame, I like you. I love you. I respect you, man. But right now, you know what I mean? You got to move out of the way. You know what I mean? Right now, Paul George, I need you to choke. You know what I mean? Right now, I need you to chill. But yeah, anyways, um, so yeah, this game. I watched a little bit of it, bits and pieces, bits and pieces, bits and pieces. I've seen enough of it to know that Kawhi Leonard literally won this game for his squad. It's his third Paul George the didn't do anything. This is more level here. I was watching Paul George out there, and he looked kind of scared. I ain't gonna lie. Y'all didn't watch the game live, and it looked kind of scary. We have a lot to talk about in this video, actually. We have to talk, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna talk about racism, too. Here's Morris on the take, looking for Harrell again. Bumping his way in, and Harold scores. I think, I think that's what he did. Do we talk about that right now? All right, so let's talk about this right now. Um, so Montrez Harold started trending on Twitter because he told Luca and one bitch ass white boy, I think, or something like that. And then all of these white people <laughs> came out of nowhere and started trying to say. Oh, well, how are y'all going to do all that? What if Luca would have said some racist thing? What if he would have did the opposite of that? Then he would have got suspended. And where's the equality? And, and I was like, okay, listen, 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 listen. I want to be as respectful as I possibly can about this. And I don't even like getting into political shit like this, but it it, it made its way in my crosshair. In my crosshair is me being me. I have to... You know what I mean? That I gotta say, it's, it's up to me to say so If I don't say something, then all of the people that's thinking the same thing that I'm thinking that be watching me and watching the games, it's, it's not gonna get said. So let me just go ahead and say this. All of the white people out there on Twitter that felt some type of way about Montrez Hero saying whatever it is, he's bitch ass white boy, whatever he said, right? Number one, he shouldn't have said that. You're right, he shouldn't have said that. But for y'all to try and then turn that into some reverse racist oh what if you what if luca would have we need equality all of this to do that you you gotta shut the fuck up everybody that think you gotta shut the fuck up you gotta shut the fuck up you got you you i'm and i'm trying to be as respectful as i possibly can but you have you you literally have got to shut the fuck up like you literally have to like you literally have to White people are not getting brutally killed and recorded on camera because of their race. Like, you you got to shut up. Now is not the time to try and use this to try and do some all lives matter or equality. Like, you you, you got to shut up. 
there are some things that black people can say to white people that won't get looked at as bad if white people were to say them to black people. But the reason that is, is because you white people are killing us black people at a ridiculously high rate. So if you weren't doing that, that double standard that you're complaining about would not fucking exist. And I don't really have anything else, you know what I mean, to say on it. Like, that's really, you know what I mean? Like, oh my God, it was literally trending. So all of these white people trying to do this, equal, like, bro, and I love y'all. And I love y'all. Y'all know that. Y'all know that. I, I y'all... I know that. I love white people, but bro, you got all the ones that are saying that, bro, you got to shut up. You got to. You have to. It doesn't even, like, you can't. <laughs> you got to. Come on. Come on. Come on. You guys are crazy. You're crazy. Like, I, I hear what you're saying, and you're right. It would have, you're, like, you're absolutely right, but at the same time, like, you got it. You got to just shut up. You got to just shut up. You know what I mean? Like, there's really, you know what I mean? There's really nothing else to it. You got to just shut up. still in the bubble. Reggie Jackson on the floor for the first that's, that's, time. That's, that's Kawhi really all there is to it. Like, cook it early, there's really nothing else. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. That, that's my thoughts on it. If you guys feel a different way, you're welcome to let me know in the comments. At the end of the day, I don't really care that much about this. So, I don't want anybody to get too angry. Because I'm not angry. I don't care. You know what I mean? Like, even if, even if Luka would have said something back, I wouldn't have, it wouldn't have really, yeah, I wouldn't have really cared. Like, it's, it's, you know what I mean? So I don't want anybody to, you know what I mean, get too, get too uptight because it's really not that big of a deal. But at the same time, like, just two for ten from behind the arc in game two. He had his pocket picks. But yeah, like I was saying, those of y'all that watch the game live, Paul George looked a little scary out there. Y'all know it. Y'all know it. Y'all seen him. I seen him. He looked a little scary. He looked a little timid. He had, that wasn't the way he's normally playing. I think these comments and these announcers and all of this hate is in his head a little bit, honestly. It looked like it was in it. He looked like he was playing like the shit was in his head a little bit. You know what I mean? That's that's re that's really how it looked out there. Like the shit was in his head. Like it was getting in his head a little bit. Here's Burke again. There was times when he drive. looked like he could have did something. Back to back he didn't want to possessions. do it. He was scared. He went for 23 points, There's 10 other times he just had this look on his face that just had me thinking. Like he just He's out there just thinking now. about this thing. Thinking about what everybody's saying about it. That's how I look. Hey, Paul George, you got it. Yeah, you got it, bro. You're just playing your game, man. Don't you can't let these little, you can't let this little bit of hate get to you, bro. It's not even anything crazy. The, the, the hate that he's getting is not is not nothing crazy enough to really make you come out here and like, you know what I mean? Like, I get it. Don't get me wrong. Get tear your ass apart. Like you were trading. I understand. It's a lot. But it's nothing crazy. It's, it's nothing Don't crazy. Give him any it's not actual it's hate. It's just you had a bad basketball night, so we're making jokes. But it's not like they actually hate you. You know what I mean? So, like, calm down. <laughs> like, you're fine, bro. It's fine. It's fine. I mean, it's cool. What the hell? Patient. Got it. Just absolute money. Kawhi Lin. Marcus Morris started his year with the Knicks. 19 games with the Clippers. He's got it going here in the bubble. Here's Doncic. No, but the follow. Yeah, Luka ain't no puzzle. Luka and Porzingis ain't no puzzle. On the layup, and it's back to those are not. Those, those are not some regular white boys. Doncic, we can either consider them quote-unquote white boys because they are like Slovenian and all these. Seth but yeah, they Curry tough as hell. What the hell? They tough as boy. What the four white boys be tough as? Boy, I know Porzingis. I be looking at y'all. Y'all be seeing when Porzingis be getting ready to get in fights and shit. He be getting angry. That nigga's tough. I don't. I don't. I don't doubt his. <laughs> I don't doubt him for a second. He looks very tough. He looks. He, he looks extremely Doncic. tough. I don't doubt him for a second. Leaves and he's extremely Porzingis. tall. He's been used to being taller than everybody his whole life too. So that'll make you tough too. You know what I mean? Like if you're walking around seven foot something, you not go. You can't help but be a little tough. I mean, your biggest hit. <laughs> you know what I mean? So yeah, nah. Hey, they, 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 they was definitely talking that shit too. That's why he. That's why they was. That's why Harris said that because they was getting under his skin a little bit. Boy, Kawhi Leonard put it right in the pocket. Staring at a double-double tonight. Luka misses a three. Gets his own. On the drive. Patient. Doncic scores it. Frustration continues. Dallas will be in the bonus the rest of the way. Kick it to the corner. That's Hardaway for three. He's got it. Yeah, Luka's a... Uh, I said this on Twitter earlier today, and I just really want to reiterate that. Watching Luka play in the playoffs this year and in the bubble, and as I've been watching him, he really looks like he could maybe be the face of the NBA in like five years. Like it's, it's, it's very, it's very possible. He could really be one of, if not the best player in it. It's possible. Like he's, 
the potential is crazy. Extra pass, this shit really looked like it hurt, too. The injury he got, that shit looked like it hurt. Kawhi Leonard, he is fouled. Got the that offensive like board, hurt. he's whacked. Doncic is down and limping that left leg, left ankle, left calf. He injured that leg early in the game. If they don't show it again, I'll show it again. Of this series. Uh, he but is yeah, that should look like hurt, man. I ain't gonna lie. On this play. The way his leg went out like that. To the person that's I, think, I think that's the end of the series for Mavs. They said he's questionable for the Kawhi next Leonard game. Even before the they announced that this morning, I thought it was the end. You know what I mean? I thought it was the end. That looked like it hurt enough to 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 make him not 100 percent for the rest of the for the rest of the series the rest of the year. So you got to just go ahead and get. I will say this: he is tough as hell for coming back out there, man. A lot of players with that same injury that he just had would not come back out there. He's tough as hell for coming back out. There. He tried to come back out there, and that shit started screaming, and he had to leave. And it was getting blitzed too, so there was no reason for him to even be out there. You know what I mean? But, but he, he's tough. I, I admire, I admire his toughness. For coming back Curry's out there and getting the into the game, nice I might. By by that shows me that like he really, he really wants to be, points. he really wants to be great. So that that was that's that's shit him. that people that really want to be great. That's you know what I mean? Right like, but the ball's in the hands of the others for the most part. Burke runs into a wall. Jackson on Curry. Curry gets a step on him, and the layup is good. What a finish! Seth Curry, give, how about give him? Lucas credit. Join the Clippers. It's teams with. Offensive and defensive ratings in the top Seth five this year. pretty good out there. As soon as he came out there, he started pulling the and not just first and down when he got in the game. And this Dallas bench, who Seth was is so actually getting brilliant better, in game be two, keeping him within striking distance better. right now. 12-point Clipper lead. Kawhi attacks Boban. I still don't know if he's ready to start on it. I don't know if he's a starting point guard, but he's a good backup point guard for sure. Behind the back, Montrez Harrell. With that left ankle sprain, Luka Doncic will not confirm, will not Still return. Still, being a bag of money on the NBA is easy to do himself. So. We'll pass that along to you. No to take nothing away from him. 14-point game. Mavericks looking to capitalize here. Porzingis on the run to the rim. He scores the layup. Kawhi is their point guard. If you notice, he's been the ball handler on the last few plays, but he turned it over on this one. And Fenny Smith. Brings the Mavericks within single digits. Why is looking for him? Finney Smith is on him, a great defender. George back to Lillard. Kawhi was going Those crazy. two, all the touches, and Kawhi with a big three. He literally won the Mavericks game. punch back. We had 36. And victory in game two. Kawhi Lillard on the drive and a left-handed jam. And it's he's such a consistent player to have, like, he's just so consistent, like, Second chance opportunity he's just so consistent, George he's, always gonna, he's always gonna, he's always gonna give you, like, 20, Those are the type of 28 that really a game, frustrated like, you can, team really, to get you can back really into depend it. on that, I think. When it comes Finney to the playoffs, Smith, least, like, the if he needs gets to, he'll go score 30 a game, a lot will. of Kawhi tonight, sitting on 34 he's points. Really, he's just a really consistent player. Morris, bullet pass, Shamit. Shamit hands and scores! Honestly, honestly, he's like the most consistent here. player. Curry. Like as far as like just every game is showing up in the playoffs. Home. I doubt he has one game where he doesn't score at least twenty. Unless he doesn't have to. If he doesn't have to, then he won't. So but every game where he has to score at least twenty, he'll do it for sure. Hundred percent. You can bet your you can bet your ass he will. Chance in this one, Hardaway. Sham it all over him. Hardaway goes to the hole, off the window, gets the bounce. The Clippers into a quick shot, which they shouldn't take anyway. Three possession game. Lead is nine for the Clippers. Lou Williams leaves it up top for Zubats. Knew it was going to be a clash tonight, but the Clippers hang on. They I was hoping the Mavs won, but and they take a two-one series Clippers. advantage in this best of seven. Why oh, I gonna carry them through? I got the I got the Clippers winning four-one. Luke is done. They're not gonna win another one. Luke is done, bro. He's not gonna play the next game. They're gonna go down three-one. There really be no reason to bring it back probably after that one. It's over. Mavs, it's over. But y'all knew that. Y'all never really had a chance. But it was a good year for the Mavs. You guys need a few more players, but it was a good year. I'm going to say my goodbyes to you, Mavs. It's been nice knowing you. Um, better luck next year. <laughs> That's going to do it for this video. We touched on a lot. Uh, <laughs> hey, yeah, man. I'm out of here. Go check out that uh, Players Got Caught Cheating video on my other channel. And yeah, until next time, man, it's been your boy. Peace out. <laughs>